Hello everybody, how are y'all doing today? If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for just being there, from liking the video, from commenting. That means a lot to me. So those that are new to my channel and you like my content, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss a video that I upload because we upload videos every single week. And like I said, Let's go ahead and get into it. So from the title of this video, you already know what we are going to be talking about, you guys. I hope that last week's video um, did something for you guys. For the, I really want to know, like, people that's trying to get their GED, please let me know in the comments. For the people that have already gotten their GED, please let me know in the comments. Y'all, what type of videos do y'all want to see as far as GD and also like what type of videos do y'all want to see in general like when it comes to like you know anything because sometimes I get questions about like um other tests like college and stuff like that but today I wanted to make a video about inferences how to make an inference in 2024 regardless of whatever it is that you're taking whether it's college whether it's your GED whether it's just kind of really just knowing what an inference is so as always I wrote some notes and I'm going to get into it right now so we don't make this video too long how to make an inference in 2024 you guys let's get into it first of all let's talk about the definition so first of all inference is a noun it is a conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning so what that basically means is that whenever you come up with an inference you are kind of coming off with the information that you have you know offhand with the information that you're provided with so that's basically what the inference is so let me give y'all some examples researchers are entrusted with drawing inferences from the data so you know like sometimes whenever we um i guess watch the news or they come up with data about anything y'all it can be politics it can be data from let's just say uh men to women like how much percentage of this to that like it's kind of like that type of situation like they kind of gather the data and then they come up with a final conclusion basically when it comes to that also um i know you all have heard of an educated guest like whenever you were in school if you're still in school you hear about educated guesses those are also inferences um experience comes with making an inference so like from what you experience can um detail an inference like you know you have to whenever you experience something um you kind of use what you have to get to what you don't know at the moment you know also like reading between the lines you know i know we all have heard that phrase before i can read between the lines and really it's just really just going off of your knowledge of what you already know um the process of inferring things based on what is already known i just mentioned that so like um let me give y'all an example so an example would be if you see a woman pushing a baby stroller down the sidewalk you can infer that there is a baby in the stroller so like you know like if a car is speeding you know okay this person trying to get somewhere or this person like it's something going on in that scenario where you know okay this is happening because of this you know a lot of times uh, when we take these tests we expect everything to be in black and white and y'all i'm telling y'all right now like these tests are not black and white these tests are not black and white y'all like we have to really use the information that we're giving and we have to use that to make an educated guess and i wanted to make this video because i feel like that is something that can help a lot of people taking any type of test. I don't care if you're in nursing. I don't care if you're in whatever you're doing. Um, making inferences is very important. That's why I wanted to make this video. I made an inference video before. If you want to go back and see that video, you're more than welcome to go see that video. But I do feel like I needed to make this video to kind of give y'all an understanding of what you can do when it comes to taking these tests, taking these GED tests. Um, even when it comes to life in general, you can infer that, okay, this is happening because of this. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, I really want to make that video. I hope that this video really helped you guys. I don't want to be making a video too long because I want you guys to just get an understanding. And if you don't have, like... If you still have questions about something, please let me know. Like, if it's something in particular that you want me to go over, please let me know. And if I can help you, I definitely will. Um, Y'all, I have a lot of great things coming up, and I'm so excited about those things. Um, I feel like I probably will be posting them on my other platform. And I will also list my other um, 
YouTube um, on here as well. So y'all are welcome to go follow me. And that's why I do a lot of different things like my family stuff and stuff like that. Y'all new beginnings. I am so excited. Um, I just want to tell people and encourage people to stay firm in what you believe in. Never give up on yourself. And that comes to taking these tests and everything that you got to do. Believe in yourself. Stay firm. Y'all, if y'all hear any noise in the background, I think it's the kid next door. And this kid, I don't know if this kid has autism or like if they have ADHD, but they are like are so loud. Like they're super loud. And I'm very sensitive to kids like that because my oldest son has autism. So I definitely do understand. So if you hear anything, please excuse that. But yeah, y'all, um, I'm so excited to be announcing that um, or whatever and bring y'all along with me with everything that i have going on but um if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or concerns make sure you leave them in the, um in the comment section below um if you want me to go over any additional things if you want me to go in debt about inference please let me know i definitely will do that if it's any particular subject that you're struggling with please let me know and let me know how y'all doing out here. Let me know the type of content that y'all are interested in and stuff like that. Let me know if you are following me on my other um, YouTube channel as well. Um, but I thank y'all so much. And if y'all want to follow me on my social media platforms, you're more than welcome to follow me. I will list that in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all just don't know. Like on every day I get up, I see a new subscriber. And I'm so excited about that. And I'm really thankful for you guys. And I thank y'all so much. But y'all have a good one. And I hope that this video was help was a big help to people that are really in need. But thank y'all so much. So until next time, I will see you guys later. And let's get this platform to a thousand subscribers so that we can go ahead and do that giveaway. Thank you guys.